our business is the Smoky Mountain News. We've been uh, in business for 11 years. Greg and I both worked in newspapers previously, and we saw the market to start another newspaper in this region, one that was geared uh, from an advertising perspective to both tourists and locals. And then from a readership perspective, the same thing. We thought there could be a free paper could work for uh, for both entities and be regional. We cover four counties and the Koala boundary. We've expanded into the custom publishing business now. We do kind of magazines for hire for any kind of company, nonprofit, government agency. And we also, two years ago, purchased a nationally distributed magazine, Smoky Mountain Living, that provided us another venue for advertisers that perhaps wanted to capture a more regional or national audience. We were able to provide a, a unique outlet for advertisers as, as well as, as the, the news side of it to, to come at it from a, a need that really wasn't being met by traditional community newspapers part of success, particularly for a media company, you really see the needs of the community and then we can create a business perhaps to, to fill those needs. You know, I get to walk out my front door and uh, see mountains and uh, I get to, to go to the festivals and, and live the lifestyle of, that this area provides. I think, you know, this is a place that people choose to live, you know, so to be able to have a successful business in, in that kind of environment, it's, just, it's kind of energizing, it's exciting, we have a lot of just really smart, intelligent people who choose to live here. You know, we want to be able to be here and raise our families here, and, and uh, your community is only as good as you help make it, so that's, that's kind of a, a big piece of the mentality is, you know, lead by example and others will follow.